Here we are asked to give the equation in standard form of a straight line that passes through one negative one and makes a right angle with this line. The first thing we have to do is find the slope of the line that we know. So I'm going to isolate the y and use y equals mx plus b, the slope intercept form, to find that slope. Moving the negative 1.5 to the other side, I have y over 0.4 equals x plus 1.5. Then multiplying everything by 0.4, I have y equals 0.4x plus 0.6. And then converting into fractions so that I can see the slope in the form of a fraction, I have y equals 2 fifths x plus 3 fifths. The slope of the first line is 2 fifths. So in my justification, I write m1 equals 2 fifths. m1 is perpendicular to m2. Therefore, m2 must be equal to the negative reciprocal of 2 fifths, which is negative 5 halves. I can use this slope and the point I know on the perpendicular line to find the equation. Negative 5 halves equals y minus negative 1 over x minus 1. Cross multiplying, negative 5 times x minus 1 equals 2 times y plus 1. Negative 5x plus 5 equals 2y plus 2. Getting everything to the left side, negative 5x minus 2y plus 5 minus 2 equals 0. And finally, all I have to do is combine the two similar terms. Negative 5x minus 2y plus 3 equals 0 is the equation of the straight line that is perpendicular and therefore makes a right angle with this line. And that also goes through the point 1, negative 1. In this example, we are asked to use slope-intercept form to give the equation of a straight line which is perpendicular to this line and goes through the point negative 3, negative 3. The first thing we have to do is get the first line into a form where we can figure out its slope. Negative 2y plus x equals 2x minus 3y plus 4. Getting all of the y's to the left, I have negative 2y plus 3y equals 2x, this x becomes minus x on the other side, plus 4. And this quickly simplifies to y equals x plus 4. The slope of line 1 is 1, and we want that in the form of a fraction, so we will write it as 1 over 1. Slope 1 is perpendicular to slope 2, therefore, slope 2 must be equal to the negative reciprocal of 1 over 1, which is negative 1 over 1. Using this slope and the point negative 3, negative 3, we can derive the equation of the line we're looking for. Negative 1 over 1 equals y minus negative 3 over x minus negative 3. I want slope intercept form, so I want the y to be on the left side of the equals. So I'm going to do bottom times top, y plus 3 equals top times bottom, negative x plus 3. Simplifying, y plus 3 equals negative x minus 3. y equals negative x minus 3 minus 3 y equals negative x minus 6. This is slope-intercept form, so I have the answer to my question. In this example, we are asked to provide the equation in ax plus by plus c equals 0 form, that's the standard form, of a straight line that passes through 1 3 halves and is perpendicular to the line 1 quarter minus a half y equals negative 3 halves y minus 3 halves x plus 3 quarters. The first thing we have to do is simplify this equation and isolate y so we can find our slope. I'm going to get the y's together on the left. 
negative one half y plus three halves y equals negative three halves x plus three quarters minus one quarter. Negative a half y plus three halves y is equal to one y. Negative three halves x is the only term with x, and then three quarters minus a quarter is a half, so we have plus one half. Our slope is already in the form of a fraction. M1 is equal to negative three halves. M1 is perpendicular to M2, therefore M2 is equal to the negative reciprocal of negative three halves, therefore is equal to positive two thirds. Using this slope and the point one three halves, I can derive the equation of the line. Two thirds equals y minus three halves over x minus one. Cross multiplying, I have two x minus one equals three y minus three halves, which gives me two x minus two equals three y minus nine halves. Getting everything to the left of the equals, we have two x minus three y minus two plus nine halves equals zero, and this will give us the equation in standard form if we just combine the similar terms here, we have 2x minus 3y minus 4 halves plus 9 halves is plus 5 halves equals 0. This is the equation in standard form of the line that goes through this point and is perpendicular to this line.